Hey everyone, Charles Austin Muir here with another vlog entry about my experiences in Rome, Italy with my childhood friend, physics professor, photographer, videographer, and all-around brainiac, James J. Butler. Uh, and why are we here? We're here because two years ago he and I made a little movie together called The Unbreak Unbearable, <laughs> keep getting that wrong, The Unbearable Lightness of Crashing. Um, it screened at the Hollywood Theater in January of 2020, just before lockdown, and is about to screen again tomorrow at the Moto Tomatica Film Festival. That's what we're here for. That's why I'm doing this vlog, just to kind of capture some of those experiences. Um, this is actually the third video that I've made, um, but I want to get this one out sooner, so it's going to come out before the one I made before, because it has, it required less editing, basically. And I want to keep getting these things out there, so I'm not editing and putting them out while I'm already back home. So anyway, here it is. Oh, and um, there is a longish section in there where I talk. Um, I thought about not including it, but then again, I thought it, it kind of it, it adds some depth to what was a pretty, pretty crazy, pretty silly day. We are about to head off to the festival. We'll see how it goes. So it looks like this is the entry to the festival. We have no idea how we got in for free. The driver just said something to uh, whoever's at the gate, even though there wasn't a gate. But this looks pretty freaking awesome right here. Hey, so we have entered the festival. Uh, we went in and checked out the site where they'll be playing the movies. And I gotta say, I'm a bit overwhelmed. This is all awesome, and I'm so grateful to be here and thankful for all the people I know made this possible. I make that sound like I'm some kind of movie star, but um, James for helping me financially, Kara for just telling me to go. Um, Kara's healthcare team, her oncologist, uh, my, my boss, and uh, manager at work, everybody. Anyway, the uh, just to give you an idea of the location, the festival is set inside uh, a water park and a and a like an Italian Universal Studios. Um, did not expect that, and a motorcycle show going on all at the same time. So tons of bikes, club music huge movie set type of replicas, uh, scantily clad women. I, I haven't seen so much flesh in like two, two and a half or three years. Um, and it's it's baking hot and, you know, there's the masks. Do we wear the mask? Do we not wear the mask? Um, are we sanitizing our hands? What the heck are we doing? And then there's the language. I mean, it's all, like I said, it's all awesome. It's just a lot going on all at once. Um, you know, because I've been in lockdown for, like everybody, for a year and a half. Um, hey, it's a, it's a big day if I'm not doing wound care or, you know, taking care to the, for medical appointments. That's not, that's not on care. I'm just, I'm just saying it's, it's pretty big for me to even take a day off somewhere, let alone spend six days uh, with a friend in Italy during a pandemic. And yeah, this place is this place is huge. Anyway, I decided to take a minute to just sit outside. Um, yeah, we went in to watch the movie. Uh, the first movie screening, there were like four people inside and one guy just looking at his phone. So but we haven't met the organizers yet. Um, I really hope it's not quite that. Uh, I hope there's a little bit more enthusiasm by Saturday night, by tomorrow night, when they play our little movie. Anyway, signing off for now. Also, I swear my mom, Young, would 
totally have fit into this place. I don't know if she was Italian or not, but she totally would have fit in. And Dad, man, you would, you would love this place. And Kara, of course I wish you were here. <laughs>